Be inspired with the special message from Bishop Macedo. Hello dear friends, may God bless you all. Wonderful, isn't it? God is great. Let me just disable the comment section here so it doesn't distract those who are interested in hearing the Word of God. Anyway, we've been speaking about the love of the Father, the love of the world, and self-love. The love of the Father, the love of the world, and self-love. Because deep down, when the Holy Spirit says, do not love the world or the things in the world, when He says this to us, what He's saying is the following, look, I want you to avoid evil. I want you to be free from evil. I want you to run away from evil. Because the world is evil. The world is evil. I created a perfect world. I created everything with the best quality. I made Adam and Eve as perfect beings. They were perfect. There was nothing wrong with the world. There was no misery. I didn't create misery. I didn't create injustice or sicknesses, infirmities, neither any of the evil that exists in the world. I didn't create unhappiness. I created everything perfectly and harmoniously and clean, absolutely pure. I created love, love which is the essence of my being. So God created everything like this, with perfection. For example, those people who suffer with an injustice, those who live in misery, those who eat the worst, they live in a bad place, they can't sleep at night, people who are groaning, it's not my intention for them to live like this. I didn't create any of these. I created the best only. However, when man sinned, when Adam and Eve sinned, I had already told them, look, do not eat from the fruit of this tree. Because the day that you eat of it, then you will die. So, I spoke clearly. I said, don't do it. Don't do it. Do not eat. Do not eat from the fruit of this tree, which is something personal. It's mine. Don't touch it. However, man was rebellious. And because of that, that world that I had created doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't exist here anymore. It's, it's over. Because once sin entered, sin brought death. Sin is what brought sicknesses, the infirmities, the disasters. Sin is what caused death and wrath. And it brought envy. It brought hatred. Sin brought everything that is evil, including master and servant. Yes, that's it. It brought this distance between one human being from the other. But I didn't create any of these. So I am telling you that have ears to hear, do not love the world. I came, I sent my son here to save you all, and now I'm telling you, do not love the world, because the world is filthy, the world is evil, the world is going to catch fire and end, and the world will continue to be evil, because the world has been under the sway of my enemy, 
of my adversary, let's put it this way, which is the devil. The devil offers the world. He offered it to my son. He offered the kingdoms of this world to my own son and its glory. The glory of the power of this worlds and kingdoms and all of their glory. But he doesn't have anything to give to anyone because he's evil, he's poor, he's miserable. And that's why the world is like this. Do not believe in him. So do not love the world or the things that the world has to offer. Do not love them. Do not get involved with the world because whoever marries the world, whoever gets involved with the world, will suffer as the world is suffering because the world lies under the sway of the wicked one. It's God saying this. Do you understand now the divine language? Very well. He also said, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the desires of the flesh, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride, arrogance, is not of the Father, because the Father didn't create any of these, but it's of the world. So everything that is evil in the world is of the world. And whoever loves the world will dive into what the world has, which is its misery, poverty, and disgrace. However, know that the world will pass away and the last of it, the desires of it. But he who does the will of God, does my will, he who does the will of God, my will, abides forever. What do you want? What is your choice, dear friend? For example, just as an example here, if you are a person who loves the world and the things that is in the world, then the love of the Father is not in you. And obviously, because the love of the Father is not in you, then the love that you will embrace, which is of the world, of the children of the world, the children of darkness, will make you unhappy. And this is the reason why the entire world is unhappy. This is the reason why many, very, very few, there are very few who are happy in their love life, for example. Why? Because they got involved with the love of the world. And they are harvesting the fruit of such disobedience. My dear friend, did you understand? Those who love the world love what is evil. Those who love the things of this world love the things of evil because the world lies under the sway of the wicked one. It's immersed in hell. The world indeed is a piece of hell, but it will catch fire. Everything will end. Those who do the will of the world and submit to the mannerisms and the ways and desires of the world will not bear it, but those who do my will. And who are those who do the will of the Father? Those who have the love of the Father. And who are the ones that have the love of the Father? Who has the love of the Father? Those who have the Holy Spirit. Those who are baptized with the Holy Spirit. These have the love of the Father. And they are different. When a person has the love of the Father, which is the Holy Spirit, they are different. They have no depression. They do not live controlled by the desires of the flesh. On the contrary, they live with the hope, with the faith of the eternity of their soul with the Father. That's what the Lord says that he who does the will of God, who is the Father, abides forever. And the Apostle Paul also said that 
he who doesn't have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. If anyone doesn't have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. Therefore, dear friends, seek for this love, embrace this love, get involved with this kind of love, dive into this love, and God will turn you into a person who is truly loved by Him and by that person who will be your partner and will be one body with you, which will also be a person that has the love of the Father. Tomorrow we are going to talk more about this and later on tonight at 8 p.m. here in the Temple of Solomon I will be speaking about this subject and taking a special moment of the service to pray and cry out for those who are lonely, those who are living in solitude, those who are living for the sake of living because they still don't have the love of the Father. Later on at 8 p.m. here in the temple, May God bless you all and I'll see you tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Amen.